As promised, uh, we're here today to show you how to wear a shawl. Of course, there's no correct way, but we have lots of ways that we like. And we're gonna show you some different shawls. Fiola here is our wonderful model, and we have a shawl called Hipster by Hoki, Hohi Locatelli. Uh, she calls for a worsted weight, but we did it in a DK because we love to break rules. Um, so this is in sort of a crescent shape. Um, it's long, probably 70 inches at least, and Fiola's going to show you how she would wear this. So she's wrapped it around her and pulling it up a little bit in the center. And you could even tie a knot with the two tails if you don't want it to move around. And there you have how to wear a crescent shape. Our second shawl of the day is called Reflection by Moni Ebner. This is a big, this is a big triangular shawl made in Arroyo by Malabrigo. It's a DK weight as well. Now this is a really large shawl, so there are a couple ways you could wear it draped around your shoulders, around the back for warmth. You could wear it over a coat. You can wear it in a restaurant to keep you nice and warm with the air conditioning. Um, you could also wear it uh, if starting with the triangle in the front. I tend to fold it over a little. Yep. Gives you a little extra warmth. And then you can again tie it in a knot or tie it tightly in a knot to make it shorter. You can hide the knot underneath and there you have a lovely shawl to wear. We have another crescent shape and this is one by Vera Valmaki and it's done in a fingering weight and this is a long crescent and this one Maybe we could try wearing it on to the side. We could tie the knot a little bit on the side. So wearing it kind of on your shoulder a little bit. You might need to help me. Yes, I'd be happy to. So I had this on yesterday and I kind of wore it over to the side like this. And so that's another way you could do a double knot if you wanted. Um, again, this could be worn the way the other were worn. And next we have a lovely one called Summer Flies. This is a wonderful summer shawl. Again, this is, and this was designed by Donna Griffin. It's done in a DK fingering weight you could do a DK weight in a cotton. You could do it um, on a larger needle and make it much larger and lacier. This one you could throw around your shoulders for kind of a fun look. Do you want to put one of the cups? You could, um, we could do a cup. If you want to grab one of the cups over there, Fiola. And we have these cups that are meant for shawls. And you could take this and you put your cuff and snap it if you can, yep. Just like this and it'll stay in place. So that's another fun idea. You can also use a shawl pin if you have shawl pins or even a brooch. A fun thing to do is to go to an antique shop, get a, a really pretty, sort of flashy brooch and then um, put it on, you could put it right here, right in here. And sometimes if I have a sweater underneath, I pin it right to my sweater. So then nothing's gonna move. The shawl won't move. Shawl won't move, it'll stay there. And we, you saw this the other day, but I thought I would show it again. This is um, Reina, done in a fingering weight um, in a gradient yarn. You could buy singles and do it gradient, 
or you could buy a skein of yarn that is a gradient or a stripe, or you can do it in a solid. This one again, let's try one that is off to the side and over like this. That's kind of a fun way. You could also scrunch it up and put it around your neck, way around your neck, just for warmth. That's it. And have it around a couple of times. It's great under a um, coat, keeping your neck warm or hiding wrinkles you don't want anyone to see. And lastly, we have um, one called Rock and Rose. This is by Martina Bain. And this is done in the Isayer Alpaca 2 um, in different colors. And this is a long, elongated triangle shape that is also fun to wrap around several times. So, Gilda, why don't you try your favorite way to wear a shawl? I generally tend to have the triangle in the front. And so you can let that, you can do it so that the tail hangs down nicely in the front as sort of a nice thing. You can also whip it around to the back. You could tie it underneath. And those are the ways we like to wear shawls. I'm sure you have ideas as well. Um, I love to wear a shawl. I try to wear one every day. So we hope that you will too. And we'll see you next time.